lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today I am going to be doing a video on this bag right here. It is my Gucci Dionysus Mini Supreme bag. This is so much fun. My husband picked these. These are actually wild sunflowers. Aren't they beautiful? Anyway, I thought I would sit here because it would just be a different kind of scene and, you know, different from filming in my closet. So today we are going to be talking about this beautiful bag and I'm going to be showing you what fits inside plus mod shots and also I'm going to be doing a review on it as well. Let's begin with the description of the bag. It comes with this antique metal hardware and it is very, very beautiful. And it has these two um, Taiga spur heads on the front of the bag as well. On the side, it also comes with a lever right here. So you push that in order to open the bag. On the inside, it has a flap right here. And these are all of my contents, which we are going to go into further detail about. But let's just talk about the dimensions of the bag. So it is 20 centimeters wide and it is 15 and a half centimeters in its height and the depth is approximately five centimeters there are some other features too that i love about the bag one of them is the canvas the supreme gucci canvas with the gg um, I really love that about this bag it's in beige and ebony are the official colors and I don't have to really you know I of course I take care of my bag but I don't have to be so careful with it because the canvas is very robust now the strap when it's fully extended is approximately 40 centimeters long now for size reference, I'm 186 centimeters tall. Um, this bag currently goes for the price of 1,250 euros. When I did purchase this bag, I think it was 100 euro less and the price went up. Now, um, I chose this particular size bag because I really wanted a bag that I could wear casually um, when I'm in the city with my friends and just swing it across my body or I can um, dress it up for a nice date um, with hubby, you know, something really nice. And the good thing about this bag is also that you are able to wear it in three basic ways. Now I'm going to show you the mud shots of me wearing it at full length. And like I mentioned, the drop of the strap at full length is 40 centimeters. Now I'm also going to be showing you how I wear it as a crossbody. So worn as a crossbody, the bag goes a little bit below my hips, which I absolutely love. Now that was a huge decision for me when purchasing this bag because the larger sizes, the medium and the large, the strap comes up a little short, but this is perfect. And also when I wore it on my shoulder, and I'll also insert the video here of me wearing it on my shoulder, it was just the perfect length as well. So that's basically the overall view of the bag. And now we are going to get into what fits inside. I do um, fit uh, quite a few essentials into this bag and I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. So now I'm going to show you what can fit inside. I hope you guys like this angle because I really wanted you to see um, exactly th what was inside of the bag. So let's go. On the front pocket you can slip a card holder in here or you can also uh, use this 
to store your receipts easily. Um, other than that, you can't really fit a lot in here because it is um, a very tight space. But a card holder you can fit inside and also your receipts. So this is the beautiful interior of the bag. It is um, a suede leather. So the first thing I have in my bag are my car keys. The next thing that I carry with me is also a hand cream um, because, you know, I always want to keep my hands um, moisturized. Uh, next, I always have tissues. Um, you never know when you're going to need them or you're going to need to help someone out. The next thing that I have inside is a lip product. This is a Chanel uh, lipstick and I also have a Guerlain lip gloss inside as well and this is how I pack the bag. You can see how I packed it. That I have space on this side so I can put my lip products there. You can also fit a small mirror inside as well. This is my house keys. This is my key holder and also I take with me my Chanel card holder inside. I have a bit of cash and also some cards in there as well and this is just perfect because it's big enough that I can use it as a wallet and you know not just a card holder. The next thing I also have inside is my phone. And this is the iPhone 7. And last but certainly not least, I always need to have a pen inside my bag. So, and I love that Swarovski has these little um, velvet cases so I don't get ink marks or pen marks on the interior of my bag. So that's what can fit inside this space. Um, definitely a bag that can fit all your basic um, essential, especially when you are downsizing. So I'll just lay everything out and show you all the items so you have an overview of what you can fit inside. But I also want to say that um, depending on how you pack the bag, you can also fit different things inside there as well. So overall, I do enjoy using this beautiful Dionysus bag from Gucci. I don't have any regrets about my purchase. Um, I tried to be as concise as I possibly could with the review, but if there's anything that I left out or if you have any questions at all, don't uh, hesitate to ask me in the comments below. I always try to get back to as many comments as I possibly can. Um, this is a beautiful bag and I'm so happy that I got it in the size that I did get it in. Um, I tried again the larger size um, that they have and it just does not work for my lifestyle. And that is the most important thing um, when buying a bag. It has to work for your lifestyle because you know it may look good on somebody else but then you know is it practical for your lifestyle does it goes with your aesthetic and your personal style and especially when investing um, in this bag I do recommend that you you know go to the store try it on first you know probably read a couple reviews watch a few YouTube videos and see what everybody has to say overall because um, the prices of these items are not cheap and you know if it's an investment for you then you should not take it lightly you should really consider you know it does it work for you in order to get the most out of the bag so don't forget to follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter I do post some 
lovely outfits of the days or sometimes I do unboxings or share things on my Instagram that I don't necessarily share on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video lovelies. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos when I post. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.